Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at the hero balance changes, and I'm probably going to be late when I upload this, but it's alright, it's still a video. <laughs> but anyway, let's look at what happened. So, the t what I'd say was the two most powerful 2.6 uh, update heroes were, were Baron and Grumpjaw. I mean, that's what everyone was banning, and they just did crazy weapon power damage, and they they were strong in crystal too, but mainly weapon. Uh, let's see here. Um, they addressed Baron's major pain points: invisible CC immunity after one second of landing, so he basically couldn't get stunned or whatever. Uh, his rocket launcher basic attack weapon damage down from 130 percent to 125. So, his his basic attack has been nerfed, so that's pretty good. And his jump jets, they removed one second of ignoring all debuffs after landing. So, basically, he's more susceptible to getting stunned and, you know, getting hit. So, that's, that's really good, I think, because now you can actually, like, hit Baron and try to, try to stop him before he deals more damage. Let's see a black feather. So he no longer spends thousands of gold on flowers for his rose trail. Instead, he's focusing on slowing enemies with on point. So, faint of heart. The rose trail was removed, and on overdrive, black feather gains a burst of decaying movement speed. So they removed the rose trail. Huh. I don't know how that's gonna play out, but on overdrive, he gains a burst of decaying movement speed. And his on point, uh, bonus slow duration per heartthrob stack, up from 0.3 to 0.4 seconds. So that's good for, you know, trying to chase down an enemy. I mean, that's literally what Blackfeather does. Alright, let's see Catherine. Catherine was dealing a, li a bit too much damage for the utility she provided. This change should help with that. So her Merciless Pursuit, the one where she stuns, the damage is down from 35, 70, 105, 140, 175 to 35, 60, 85, 110, and 135. You know, each level is each, uh, how much they do. So that's good. The stun shouldn't do as much. You know, since Catherine's, uh, a captain, I don't really think that she should do a lot of damage. Alright, let's look at Flicker. Flicker went to the gym and bulked up. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. <laughs> so his health went up a lot. Like, a lot. And his health per level increased from 77 to 86. So, that, that's really good. So, you know, how, if you're playing Flicker, you're still, you're gonna be tanky. Or tankier. And look at Grace. Grace was the fastest hero in the game by a bit of a margin. This didn't make too much sense considering she was in a plate armor. Okay, so her move speed was reduced, so don't worry about getting chased and her A slowing down. That shouldn't really be much of a problem, but I mean, if you're still close, it's going to be. But running should be easier. Divine Intervention. Heal Strength reduced from 400, 600 to 800 to 400, 500, and 600. So, you know, they get the Holy Shield and then they uh, gain their health back. I mean, that was so annoying to face against, but it's a good asset for you. So, it's still a good asset now, but it's nerfed, of course. And, uh, it's, it's gonna be easier to play against, because, you know, they, so most graces are focused on villain, building utility, you know, since they're captains. So, that, the crystal power shouldn't really come in, into play a lot. So, I think that's good. And the crystal ratio increased from 150% to 200%. So that's basically compensating for the loss of heal strength, and that's also going to buff her A and B. Let's look at Grumpjaw. Grumpjaw has been a monster for a while, making him a frequent ban candidate. As I said in 2.6, the one of the worst heroes. Well, not worst heroes, but worst heroes to play against. And these changes should give other junglers a chance to shine. 
So Grumpy, damage stack down from 20, 35, 50, 65, 95 to 10, 25, 40, 55, 85. So it, it's just reduced by 10, the stack. And Hangry, bonus attack speed down from 20, 30, 40, 50, 60% to, yeah, they basically just nerfed it by 10. So that, that's a lot, you know, compared to the other people, so... It's, it's a lot more even now. He's not, like, extremely powerful. And Idris. Idris reminds everyone that he has two possible paths he can take. So, his perk reduced was reduced from 120 to 100. And his chakram weapon ratio down from 100% to 90%. So, even when you're building weapon, Idris know that the chakram won't do a lot as much damage as before so you shouldn't really rely on that but it's a good damage dealer and it's ranged of course i i don't really play idris i only played him like twice so <laughs> yeah and cruel they buffed him again uh he just wants to be close to his friends and closer to his enemies so his cooldown from dead man's rush went from 9998 to 8887 seconds so his overdrive is gonna be strong guys so watch out for a lot of fortified health rona so into the fray has given her more health fortified health her target hit up from 30 40 50 60 80 oh wow yeah they yeah her overdrive is gonna be strong this is gonna be harder to kill her now and sky's a potato i already know that Sky players were dealing a bit too much damage without lock-on. This change will help promote skillful sky lock-on play. So her crystal ratio went down from 210 to 120%. Oh my god, it's, it's like they don't want people to play with sky. Her lock-on bonus crystal ratio increased from 10% to 33%. I really don't see anyone playing sky in the future. I don't think they want to. Alright, Vox. Uh, his sonic zoom in his cooldown increased from uh, three seconds you know his uh, overdrive to four so that's gonna be that's gonna be harder to run away <laughs> and yeah that's, that's it thank you guys for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video